All right, guys, I hope everybody's enjoying their week. So I got a question that I thought would be a good video. Um, Lisa asked me, could I give detail in a video on how you're doing your pre-bolus and then meal bolus? Um, why your thoughts process, or why, how, and your thought process behind it and um, how you think it's working for you so far. So, um, all of us want to try to achieve that 100% time and range that Medtronic suggests. So, um, in that, the key to success to me on doing that is the timing of your insulin doses. Um, everybody's body is different. Um, as you guys have seen, I'm not uh, light as a feather. Um, so, my insulin sensitivity is a little um, uh, less. My insulin doesn't work as well. Um, so I um, I bolus for my meals about an hour in advance. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do another um, picture in picture video. Um, I'm screen recording on my iPad and I'm going to draw over a CareLink report. Um, this is a weekly report that I'm looking at, um, but the daily report also um, shows the same data just in a little bit bigger format for you. So. Um, on this day in question, um, you guys have to remember I'm going to work about 3.50 in the morning. So my blood sugar, you can see my finger stick. Um, when I'm getting up, I'm getting dressed, my sugar's on the rise. That's because I'm disconnecting my pump before 3 a.m. Uh, to take my shower and start getting ready for work. So that's the first little rise. But once I switch my pump back on, um, there's a little spike in auto mode. You guys will be able to see it. Um, excuse, excuse me, so I'm marking on it in um, red. Um, you guys can see it right as, right before this bolus, oh, I accidentally covered it with a red line. Um, right before this bolus, there is a little spike in auto mode. Auto mode ramps up to its maximum um, delivery for each incre incremental micro bolus. And then you see I do my first pre-bolus. So um, I'm going to erase this red box that I just drew and use the red marker to draw around my first pre-bolus. So you guys can now see that. Um, me on my way to work, I don't get the full hour that I intend to. So you can see what I'm talking about with an adverse effect of that too with my blood glucose over that. So you can see I'm going to mark it in blue this faint little image um, and it runs down like this and then you can see another one here and then another one here. So these three little lines descending that I'm showing you is how your pump is calculating your active insulin and you can see how that gradually goes down. Another thing I want you guys to look at and I'm going to erase these lines now so that way you can see is after that first pre-bolus, um, I'm gonna switch over to a black pen color. Um, if you look there, there's nothing in this area from auto mode. Auto mode's not delivering insulin because auto mode is waiting for your body to react for your, from the insulin that you've bolused. So if I erase this black box that I just drew, you can see, um, uh, up at the top, the correlation, my blood sugar spiked around, um, So it spiked a little over 120 or 220, excuse me. And then you can see as that insulin starts to wear down on that second bolus for my meal, auto mode ramps back up. Well, then I do a final touch up bolus at the end, my third one, which was significantly less than the first two. And auto mode kind of, you know, it's like the gas pedal on your car. It throttles up a little bit and reduces uh, for that little area. And then eventually, uh, like I um Three hours later, you can see my blood sugar comes back to the target range of 120 and auto mode kind of relaxes over the next couple hours to keep my blood sugar around that target range. You can see this other little micro bolus, or excuse me, this bolus that's small, um, 13 grams of carbs, that's my glucerna that I'm drinking. So I typically start drinking my glucerna about five minutes after since it is a small bolus. You can see clearly there um, I'm gonna mark it in blue, the insulin, active insulin time. I accidentally clicked the crayon instead of the ink pen, my bad guys. Um, as you see, 
that go down, you can see auto mode ramps back up again um, to kind of make sure that my blood sugar stays sustained. So on those higher carb meals um, that you're going to be eating, fast food, pizza, things like that, I recommend um, kind of do your carb counting, divide it by three, um, or if you want to, you can kind of shift those numbers. So pre-bolus, let's say we're going to eat 100 grams of carbs, you're going to have two or so slices of pizza. I'm not an expert on how what size you're eating. I'm just gonna use 100 as an example. So for that first bolus, you want to program for 40 grams of carbs. You do your pre-bolus, that's fine. All right, now you've finished eating your pizza, you're gonna do your second bolus for another 40 grams of carbs. Then, if you have any doubts that you have over bolus, wait on the third bolus for about I'm going to say one and a half to two hours after you've eaten. Kind of keep an eye on your pump. See what your blood sugars are doing. If they're running constant, that's good. If your blood sugars start to rise towards the end of your active insulin, let's say you've got less than five units left, um, if you take a lot of insulin. If you don't take a lot of insulin, um, you might have one or two units left. Then you might need to think about if you want to do that third bolus. And that third bolus is going to give you a little extra insulin. Um to carry you over. Now, I did touch on, you can see that auto mode's not delivering insulin. If you look at your pump in manual mode, it's gonna deliver the same amount of insulin whether you bolus or whether you don't. So, um, in auto mode, you should see that your carb ratio might be a little different um, c compared to manual mode because you're not getting that insulin for those time periods um, when you first start to eat. So you might want to adjust your carb ratio um, to correct for that. It probably doesn't need to be much. Um, just kind of see what your insulin usage is. I know my auto mode um, typically will do, I think it's like 0.7, somewhere around there, um, is the max unit of insulin it'll do on a micro bolus. Um, I think that's what I've been getting off of my CareLink reports. I'm not 100% sure. I do not like the way that CareLink shows auto mode data. I hate it. I think um, as users, we should be able to see um, how much insulin auto mode has given us a little easier and not just the history for the entire day. I think we should be able to break it down by hour, time frame, stuff like that. Um, because if you wanted to adjust your manual mode settings to be more accurate, you're going to need that accurate data from auto mode. And to this point, I haven't found it. Um, so it's kind of upsetting. So Anyway, I hope that um, this video touches on the things that um, Lisa wanted to know. Lisa, I hope you um, that answers your questions. If it doesn't, um, please comment below, and I will try my best to do a follow-up. Um, for those of you who are commenting, I was blown away this morning when I woke up because I had like 10 emails from YouTube saying that somebody commented on a video um, and... I just, I'm totally blown away at the rate in which this channel has been growing um, over the past, I'm going to say five days. Um, I believe last week I had 20 something subscribers and now I'm at almost 50 and um, it's just amazing. Um, I love the interaction with you guys, the comments through um, my Facebook page and um, as well as the comments on these videos. Um, you guys supporting me, it's amazing, and I truly appreciate it. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please do so, uh, both Facebook and YouTube. Um, you guys are free to interact with me in whichever platform you prefer. Um, YouTube sends me emails when I get comments, and my Facebook notifications are a little finicky. Um, so that might take a little bit longer for me to reply, but I do get on Facebook every day and I try to try to check um, my Facebook page to make sure that I'm not missing any interactions with you guys. I've also had um, someone uh, reach out through me through the um, Medtronic Ambassadors uh, website and that's perfectly acceptable too if you guys wanna do that. So anyway, back to the story. Lisa, I hope this answers your questions. If not, please reach out to me again and I will do a follow-up follow video to try and um, finish up.
what I missed on this video. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful week. And if you need anything from me, or excuse me, it's Friday. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Sorry, it's my Tuesday um, at work. So y'all have a wonderful weekend. If you need anything from me, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm here to try to help you guys and pay it forward. So you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time.